Hey guys, welcome back. Traditionally, if you wanted to make a cup of coffee out in the wilderness, there are a few different ways you can do it. You can do it the old style way, um, cowboy coffee for example, where you just take a container, put your water in, boil it, add the grounds, boil some more, throw in a little bit of uh, cold water to make the ground settle, pour and enjoy. Um, that's the easiest way, that's the traditional way of doing it. Um, nothing wrong with that. You can get a little fancier and get a dedicated coffee percolator, uh, put it on the, on the campfire or directly over your um, alcohol stove or small wood burning stove or whatever it is that you have. Wait for the coffee to percolate, same thing, pour and enjoy. You can even do the high-tech route and make instant coffee which already has the cream and the sugar added to it. So just add hot water. But I grew up in an Italian household and to me this kind of coffee was called American coffee. If you wanted a real cup of coffee that was espresso and in my mind whenever someone would ask me do you want a cup of coffee what they really meant was do you want an espresso. Now you can't make espresso out in the woods because unlike cowboy coffee where you need the coffee, you need the water, and you need the heat source. With espresso you need another element which is pressure. Now it's the pressure of the espresso machine that pushes the hot water through the uh, coffee grinds and into your cup. So this process is extracts the most flavor from the coffee and uh, it also produces something called a crema which is a thin layer of, of uh, bubbly foam on the top of the coffee and that contains all of the flavor. So out in the wild how do you reproduce that pressure? You really can't. You can approximate it with something like this. This is a mocha pot and what you would do is put your coffee in the little basket, add the water, put it on the flame and after a while the water bubbles up and goes through the coffee grinds and you have a good cup of coffee but again it's not espresso because there's no element of pressure. So if you're a true espresso aficionado you're kind of out of luck or at least you have been until now. I recently came across this product which I think is fantastic. It's called the hand presso and what it is is it, it's a portable espresso machine. Yet yeah, you heard that right. It has the three elements necessary to make any other kind of coffee, but it also allows you to pressurize the air inside, which uh, espresso has to be made between 13, at least 13 atmospheres of pressure or 13 bars. Um, you can do up to 16 bars of pressure on this machine. So let me show you um, what the components are. Now, uh, the machine itself is very simple. It's very sturdy, made out of metal, doesn't weigh all that much, and it gives you the option of using ground coffee or these pre-made pods. These are ESC pods. They're available just about anywhere. They're not the same as um, Keurig, which is another type of pod that's become popular, but uh, these fit in espresso machines. Now, for the sake of this video, oops, for the sake of this video, I'm going to utilize the pods just because it's easy. So, this is what's called the portafilter, and this unscrews. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to come a little closer so you can see. So basically, the first thing we're going to need to do is to pressurize this. Now, you see the pressure gauge at this point is at zero and we want to get it into the green zone which is about 16 bars or 16 atmospheres. So what you do is unscrew the handle and like a bicycle pump you start compressing the air inside the handle. And as the pressure builds it gets a little bit more difficult to pump. I'm almost there. See. get a little workout while you're making your coffee. So I'm just about in the green zone now. 
Okay, so I'm there. Now what I'm, go I'm going to do is to turn the handle clockwise again, oops, to lock it. So as you can see, I've got, I'm almost at the red zone. I put a little bit too much pressure in there. But we should be good to make this coffee. So now, I've also taken the liberty of pre-boiling some water just to make it easy because if you're going to have to watch me boil water, this video will be a lot longer than it has to be. So, next, <clears throat> we will pour the water up to the fill line. Like so. Now we take one of our pods. Now, I should have opened this beforehand. Oops, there goes some of my water. That's okay. The pods look like this. Now I'm just going to take this little tab and fold it down to make a better seal. And this basically fits right on top, right like that. Now we take our cover, and there's a line here, so you align it, twist, and it goes to the lock position. And now we're ready to make our coffee. So, what you really want is a ceramic kind of coffee cup which is heavy and thick and holds the heat. But if I make the coffee in here, you're not going to see it. So what I'm going to use is this plastic espresso cup, which I would never use normally, but I, I want you to see the coffee as it's coming out. Um, you should also preheat your coffee cup. Pour some hot water in, let it sit for a little bit, because what happens is once the hot water, which is about 195 to 202 degrees Fahrenheit, goes into the cup, the cup is going to pull out some of that heat. So you're going to get a drop in temperature right away. So you want to avoid that by preheating your cup. Because we're using plastic here, it's not going to make any difference. So just for illustration purposes, we're going to do it this way. So what you do basically is just flip it over. Now there's a start and stop button here. So you can actually control how much coffee you, act, you want in your cup. You can make it a short espresso or a full-size espresso. So here we go. And as you can see, there's no rush, there's no hurry. The, the, the machine is pressurized, the water is hot, it's ready to go. So here we are. So as you can see, it's coming out. And you're going to see that layer of crema on the top. There you go. That, my friends, is a shot of espresso in the woods. And that's it. Turn it off. It depressurizes. And you have a nice espresso with crema. Cheers. Fantastic. Now, is this an item that everyone needs in their kit? Absolutely not. This is a luxury item. You don't need this. But let me tell you, if you're an espresso drinker, you're going to want this. And if you're an espresso drinker who likes to hike, this is going to go in your brew kit, guaranteed. Um, if I have any complaints about this at all, you can purchase this on Amazon for about $99. It should come with a case. It doesn't. They do have a case, the manufacturer makes a case, they sell it separately. The case is $40. So, to my mind, spending $40 for a case for a $99 item, that's almost half the price. It doesn't make any sense to me. So, shame on Hand Presso for not including a case with this. But other than that, at this point, that's my only gripe. Thanks again for joining me, and uh, we're going to be bird watching today. So, uh, going to caffeine up. And off I go. See you again next time. Okay guys, I'm back at the house. I just wanted to show you how to tamp your own coffee into this filter basket so that 
Um, if you don't want to use the pods and you just want to use, you know, regular ground espresso coffee, you can do that as well. So you want to start off and basically you want to put it in in layers because you want, you want the little puck of coffee to be very tight. So um, you can use the bottom of the machine itself as a tamper because it, it fits very well. And see, you want it to be tight and in layers. <clears throat> And it takes about seven grams of espresso coffee to make a, a nice shot, and this is about a seven gram basket. So just keep just keep adding and tamping until you get a nice tight. Nice tight puck of espresso in there. There, you got the idea, and that's pretty much it. And then you would just put this in the machine, take out the uh, take out the adapter for the pod, which I've already done. This fits right inside, and you're good to go. So once your coffee is done, cleaning up is just a matter of pushing out the coffee. That's it. Thanks again, guys.